and then down and then control backspace so that we've got the data properly selected and then insert tab and uh, charts and we want to go to the scatter and scatter boom so now we've got our our trend so I'm gonna delete this and then we got to say okay which way are the X's and Y's going because I lined them up this way I would expect this to be the X right this would be the X side you kind of check by looking at the bottom and top so it goes from 0 up to 50 so if I sort this from Z to A you're like alright it goes up to 50 that kind of makes sense this one only goes up to 30 if I sort this from Z to A that kind of makes sense so it looks like this one is the miles per gallon which is what we would expect I'm gonna hit the uh, plus button here and say that I want axis titles put my cursor in the axis title equals the miles per gallon no this one is the acceleration and then this one equals the miles per gallon we can add a trend line so now this one is trending upwards you can see that was what I was trying to get a trend line going the other way this one trending down this one's trending up we're gonna say uh, plus button trend line I want a linear trend line more options and then I could say that I would like to see a formula for it so let me check out the formula there's our formula can make that a little bit larger home tab on the formula increase in the size of it pulling it up somewhere so we can actually see it and then back to this trend line and let's say that we want to make it uh let's say let's say we just want to make it glow right if i leave it at that same like color but then i go down here and say and say let's go to the glow and give it that that yellow glow so now you now you've got that trend line that's not really covering anything up but you can still kind of see it and maybe i'll do a different glow we saw yellow before let's do an orange so there we have that and so so there's that relationship now let's build this one more time but this time taking the information from the table on the left so now i'm going to go to the table and i'm going to select miles per gallon so I'm going to try to do the easiest way to select these two columns at the same time. The most intuitive way is to put your cursor here and drag all the way down because you want to make sure that you, you select all of the data and not the entire column. But I think the faster way when you have a lot of data, I'm going to close this out, is to put your cursor here, control shift down, taking you to the bottom of the data, holding control backspace, taking you back up, then I'm holding control down to select the other cell. So I have non-adjacent cells, cells that are not next to each other selected at the same time. And then holding control shift and down to, to get the two columns. You might also try, by the way, I'm gonna go control backspace, putting your cursor just on this one and then this holding control and this one. So now I've got these two non-adjacent cells by holding control and then hold down control shift and down, but then it really only hits the second one. So you can't really then control backspace. I'm gonna put my cursor here and then control shift down to get both of them holding control backspace. All right, so you could experiment with different ways to do that. But going back up, we're gonna to go to the insert tab the the charts and make the good old scatter and before you enter the scatter by the way you might want to position where you want it to go right so i might try to kind of move over here even though i still have those other ones selected so that the scatter hopefully will be generated somewhere over here right so i can go insert and then charts and then give me the scatter and so now it's i can just drag it right here so it kind of put it in the middle of the screen where i'm currently viewing you know which is nice and so then i can just do my standard thing here i'll do it fast because we've done it a few times and we're running along on time so we're going to say that uh, let's add some axes so the chart uh title the axis titles so this is going to be equal to and i'm going to say the miles per gallon 
and then this axis scrolling to the right this axis is equal to we're going to say the acceleration acceleration going back to the right and then we can add a trend line if we so choose trend line linear more options we want this to be we want to see the formulae down here give me the formulae there it is let's make it larger home tab i got to be selected on it home tab font group increasing the font size grabbing it pulling it up a bit clicking on that trend line so now i have the trend line information on the right and i'll go to the bucket and this time let's change the color of the trend line to like orange maybe and then make it glow middle tab glowing it's nice when stuff glows and it's gr the green glow green and blue do i think that's not good for color blindness is it i don't know i don't know what i'm talking about and let's make it that i did orange before well we'll just do the same so i'm going to close that out so that's the general general idea of uh, of the scatters